This review is on the movie The Greenhouse. I'm the anger guy. I'm going to tell you like it is. Thomas Wilson Wright was a director for the film The Greenhouse. He is also a talented writer and editor. I love to do reviews like this one because the film conflicts with my idea in how a movie should be. In other words, it makes me think. The director hooked me with the realism of everyday life by portraying normal siblings' reactions with one another who haven't seen each other for a long time. Quickly, I admit the director exercised his right to highlight Beth's growth by drawing a contrast between multiple characters in an obscure location where the present connects to the past in a non-linear narrative. I generally can't stand flashbacks or snips of past memories to tell a story, but for me, which I hate to admit, it worked for me in this film. The film The Greenhouse is about siblings Beth, Drew, Raph, Dooney, who are still dealing with one of their mum's death, Lillian. Drew, Raph, and Dooney have moved on with their lives, but Beth still struggles with the hole in her heart she cannot fill with the fact her mum being gone forever. Great supporting actors make the lead always look good, but it doesn't hurt when the lead is a great actor also. With a better script, the four main characters could have earned more recognition. The potential and the talent from all of them are busting out at the seams. I hope and pray all of them are the, at the right place at the right time to further their careers, if they want to. At the beginning, I told you I will tell you like it is. Ooh, boy. The scene when crawling out of the trunk threw me completely out of the f movie. See, it threw me now. To me, it seemed like the writer and director went in the same, realized he had a good movie or a great movie in production, but he got too excited and wanted to wrap the film up in a hurry. Crawling out of the trunk, the group staggering out of the fog and falling on each other looked like, I hate to say it, a high school production. Minus those two scenes, it was a good film, even the ending. Let's not forget about the music. It interlaced perfectly with what was on the screen. After accepting the concept of interconnection, the film became more palatable. The film The Greenhouse had many redeemable qualities, but it didn't save itself from a couple major missteps. Out of an alphabetic score, I give the film The Greenhouse a C-, minus. but I wouldn't recommend to go see the movie The Greenhouse unless... You want to see the future Australian movie stars in their embryonic stages. Thank you for subscribing. Appreciate you viewing and value your comments. Thank you.